Hi, uh, welcome back to the third series on the Second Amendment in Westchester County, New York. In this series, I will be discussing Braveheart's reapplication process after the Heller versus DC victory. Uh, the Heller victory established that the Second Amendment was a right, a right to keep and bear arms on an individual basis versus being part of a militia. With encouragement from his attorney on September 2nd, 2008, uh, Braveheart resubmitted his application for a pistol permit in New York State from scratch. It was a very arduous process, no doubt meant to discourage would-be applicants. Uh, my name is Sebastiano Cornelio for those tuning in for the first time. And in the upcoming series, I will elaborate on this pistol permit process as well. It's amazing how small this world is at times. On the exact date a friend of his submitted his application, he will be referred to as Mr. HVAC, since he owned his own HVAC company. Uh, <laughs> Mr. HVAC, not too long ago, emigrated here from Ireland. Very nice gentleman. In the application guide, it states that it should take four to six months to process the application from the time it was submitted. If it should take longer than six months, the licensing officer, who is a judge, shall notify the applicant with good cause after five months that it will take longer than the maximum of six months. Mr. HVAC rece received this pistol permit within the restrictions of target shooting and hunting, hunting excuse me, only almost three months exactly to the day. It took him three months to obtain his pistol permit, three months to the day he put in his application. When Braveheart submitted his application, he was advised that at the current time it was taking about three months, which was, you know, on par. Now, Six months to the day go by, six months to the day since he submitted his application and nothing. No letter from uh, the judge or phone call. So Braveheart calls the Department of Public Safety and asks, what's the status of his application? Um, Braveheart was told that it was forwarded to Judge Jeffrey Cohen uh, two months after it was submitted. So it's been sitting on Judge Jeffrey Cohen's desk for almost four months. Uh, okay, now, once again, it took Mr. HVAC, you know, three months in. One would think it would have taken longer since he has uh, a background from Ireland and it would have been, I would have thought a more, we would have thought a more uh, thorough and consequently longer process, but apparently not. In any case, Braveheart contacts Judge Cohen's uh, chambers and once again asks what is the status of his application. The secretary replies that he should receive an answer very, very shortly. Appar apparently, Judge Jeffrey Cohen is above the laws that are written in Westchester County and chose to ignore them since Braveheart never received notification as he was supposed to regarding his application taking longer than six months. He was supposed to have been notified after five months that his application was going to take longer. He never got a notification. Why is that? Once again, they're supposed to work for us. We don't work for them, people. <laughs> and consequently, once again, Braveheart, Braveheart's rights were violated. About a week later, he receives a letter from Judge Jeffrey Cohen uh, denying Braveheart uh, a pistol permit of any kind. Judge Jeffrey Cohen starts off by reiterating the reasons Judge Susan K. Casey gave for revoking the permit almost two years earlier. Then Judge Jeffrey Cohen's reply to Braveheart's application for a full carry, he writes, Conspicuously absent, however, is the report of any specific threat to his own safety. Under these circumstances, Braveheart's application for a firearm license for a full carry permit must be denied. Must be denied. Another gross injustice here, people. Another gross injustice served to Braveheart by Judge Jeffrey Cohen. You do not, I repeat, you do not have to have death threats or uh, any threats whatsoever to have a full carry in Westchester County, New York. It's a bogus, false lie. Okay, I know of at least six people personally that did not give a reason or reasons of receiving threats, including death of any kind. Once again, people, arbitrary discretion. Arbitrary discretion. Now, when Judge Jeffrey Cohen addressed a, a, a permit for target shooting and hunting, Judge Jeffrey Cohen stated, quote unquote, that it does not alter the court's determination that the applicant has not established proper cause for the issuance of a firearm license. 
particularly given the recent revocation of his prior permit. Once again, almost two years has gone by since that permit was revoked, three if you count the time that Braveheart voluntarily surrendered his permit to the Department of Public, Public Safety. Excuse me. Judge Jeffrey Cohen also states, Nothing in Braveheart's application suggests that he now possesses the requisite judgment and character to hold a target and hunting license he previously held. Nothing. With all due respect, why is that in the application that they ask for a home number, a cell number, and an email address? What's the purpose of asking for home telephone, cell phone, telephone number, and email address if you're not going to use it? What is the purpose of those uh, contacts? If Judge Jeffrey Cohen was truly an honorable judge, he could have contacted Braveheart and asked for some more information concerning this issue. After all, there are no questions on the application dealing with character and judgment. There are no questions that ask character and judgment on which is the county's per, uh, application permit. Was Braveheart supposed to be a mind reader and read Judge Jeffrey Cohen's thoughts? I wonder if, if Judge Jeffrey Cohen is a perfect quote unquote individual. He certainly expects his applicants to be perfect, apparently. I'm a Christian, and as such, I know that only Jesus Christ and the Blessed Virgin Mary were born into this world without sin. We are only human. Judge Jeffrey Cohen unjustly defamed Braveheart's, his Braveheart's name, pardon me. You know, how does Jeff, Judge Jeffrey Cohen know Braveheart lacks the proper character and judgment? Has Judge Jeffrey Cohen Kept in contact with Braveheart on a regular basis? I don't think so. Did he have someone have, do an evaluation on Braveheart? Mm mm. Was Braveheart called into a special hearing? Mm mm. No. Judge Jeffrey Cohen has no idea who Braveheart is. Both Judge Susan Kakesi and Judge Jeffrey Cohen have this bitter vendetta against Braveheart that apparently runs very, very deep. Once again, their decisions are safeguarded because, you all know by now, arbitrary discretion. Both Judge Susan Kakesi and Judge Jeffrey Cohen have desecrated the Second Amendment beyond belief with their decisions. Never once did Jeffrey Cohen mention all the additional letters of character Braveheart submitted with his application process, in addition to the four that are required by the... Uh, pistol permit application. I believe there were five or six additional letters of character to the original four once again. Why is that? Why didn't you mention the, the wonderful things that were said, the wonderful glowing and outstanding things that were said about Braveheart's character? Why were those things not mentioned and about him having the proper character and judgment? All the wonderful letters that were written about him, why were they not mentioned in your uh, letter of decision? Hmm? But you chose to ignore them totally in rendering your decision. Why? Once again, why? Vendetta? Favoritism? Bias? Mental instability? Needless to say, Judge Jeffrey Cohen and the head administrative judge Francis Nikolai refused to have a sit down with Braveheart. Judge Francis Nikolai's chief court attorney wrote for the judge and said that Judge Francis Nikolai does not get involved in matters of pistol permits or grants sit-downs. This is totally, once again, false. Ladies and gentlemen, as Westchester County Owner Association has, has an older gentleman who was working with Judge Francis Nikolai one-on-one -on -one with his per pistol permit application. Braveheart was informed that by the, uh, that organization that Judge Jeffrey Cohen was more than likely going to have a sit-down with Braveheart. Once again, judges are supposed to serve us, not the other way around. They're in a position to protect our rights, mine, yours, in New York State, the Empire State. Well, my question is, what kind of empire is my question? Please subscribe to my station here on YouTube so you will automatically receive updates. Uh, it's free to subscribe. God bless America and the keepers of the Constitution of the United States. Uh, look for my fourth series very shortly. God bless. Take care. Thank you again.